Hello everybody, I'm GTG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to create a simple scoreboard. To get started you need to create a new plugin with a simple register event and then a player join event. And inside the player join event, because what we want to display on the simple scoreboard for now is the amount of online players. So there's two simple things we need to do because we're gonna split it up. We're gonna create the scoreboard for the player and then update the scoreboard for all other players because you do not want to create a scoreboard each time a player leaves or joins for all the online players because if there is like a thousand players and I need to create a thousand scoreboards uh, each time a player joins or leaves and that, that can be like 10 times in a minute if there's thousand players so we're gonna split it up so first we're gonna create a method called create scoreboard and we're gonna give the player as a parameter over there and then let me just create public void create scoreboard player player just like that okay and then what we want to do is because to create a scoreboard you first need to have the scoreboard manager and I'm just gonna call that manager equals bucket dot get scoreboard manager because uh, a server can have a, a set amount of scoreboard so the server needs to manage that itself this uh, just like we do over here with get plugin manager we need to have a scoreboard manager and then uh, with the scoreboard manager we're going to create a scoreboard of course scoreboard and just call it board or whatever you like manager dot get new scoreboard and uh, no types or anything just the just this simple and now we created our scoreboard and a scoreboard can have multiple uh, objective slots uh, let me just uh, you'll see it when we check it out on the server uh, how things work or you can look for it online if you do not get what I'm saying um, because we need to register a objective and just call it obey objective and that equals board dot register new objective and now there are multiple types of objectives I will link uh, down below in the description box I'll link to uh, all the types and for now uh, first you need to give the objective a name we're just gonna do its stats and then we need to do the type a dummy and a dummy is like a, uh, a, a objective an objective that can only be altered by code or commands and what we now want because we now have an objective like stats we want to set the objective dot set display name of course we want it to be stats and we want to set the display slot and now the multiple display slots and the one we are going to use is the sidebar so on the right side of your screen uh, a objective uh, display slot you can do in the player list so when you press tab you can see this or below the name and below the name we will do later on in another video and now we've got the objective but we still need to uh, we need to register a score and score score just gonna call it score equals objective dot get score and I'm gonna use a string with players double dot spacebar oh, spacebar is not needed actually the code already does that and uh, you'll see uh, in a minute on the server what where the stats is uh, put down and where players are all pointed out. And then we have to set the score to bucket that gets online players. So it gets all the online players in a little list. Now we want to create F the size. You can only set a, an int over here, but that's obvious. And last but not least, we want to set the scoreboard for the player a player can only have one scoreboard and it can have uh, multiple objectives as long as they're all in a different display slot and then scoreboard board and that's it for the create scoreboard part but we also want to update the scoreboard and to update the scoreboard of all or current online players we just do a new method 
update scoreboard and we're not gonna pass anything to it because it does not need any arguments or parameters uh, public void update scoreboard and inside of here what we want to do is we want to loop so for player online is in the collection of bucket dot get online players so it's gonna cycle through all online players and then what we want to do is we want to get the play we want to get the score 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 equals online so the online player in this case because it's gonna cycle through all of them and it's gonna uh, each time I'm gonna select one player and put it inside the player online um, variable and then online dot get scoreboard because we already set the scoreboard it's the scoreboard board over there and we do not set any other scoreboards if you do you need to check if it's the scoreboard that you want to check and then online dot get scoreboard dot get objective and then the display slot is the same display slot dot sidebar and what we then want to do is we want to get score and it should be players with yeah just like that now we have a reference to uh to our score with the amount of online players and what we want to do is just like we did before we want to set the score to bucket to get online players not online mode online players dot size which will return an int and that's it for the coding part and as you can see we created the scoreboard uh, in a different method from the update scoreboard because it's just a little bit of optimization you do not want to create a scoreboard over and over again for each time a player joins or leaves oh wait we need still need to do because we now do on player join we update the scoreboard but also on player leave because it needs to be decreased public void on player quit quit player quit event e because we also need to uh, change of course uh, we need to update the scoreboard when a player has left update scoreboard over there just like that and uh, yeah that's it for the actual coding part now really done and uh, let's go check it out on the server rinse up microphone now start on the server and let's go take a look at what we have created and there you have it our scoreboard on the sidebar I cannot, I cannot actually hover over it with my mouse without making it a little darker. So on top of there you see the display name over here. And below there you see the score name. And that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, there's a link to the Discord in the description box down below. Or just post it in the comment section down below as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.